Good morning and welcome back to the morning show. Hope you got a fresh cup of coffee because we got a real doozy coming up here with Robert Blay. Uh, but before I get to him, I got a big thanks to Hernando's Pizza Pub, uh, Jeff Davidson and Kimber, uh, and all they do for our morning show here. Life's too short to eat bad pizza. Uh, stop in. They're open every night and uh, they have some of the most delicious pie in the galaxy since I said universe for the last uh, place. But Robert, what's kicking, man? Hey, you know, it's uh, the summer's warming up and... Uh, yeah. Places, the it, town's starting to fill up, the county's it, filling up. It was a muddy, yeah. miserable marsh, and boy, did it, the switch flipped. I mean, it's beautiful. It has been gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So. We, uh, we're seeing, you know, at our rental business, we're starting to see uh, the places fill up. So it's good. And you've got a few hats locally. So you're owner of a management company, a yes. condo management company with CMC. Right. And then you've got, uh, you are on the Grand County Tourism Board. I am. Uh, and we'll talk a little more about that. And when I met you, you were just starting. You were basically a new employee of CMC. That's right. And uh, you've since bought CMC and then acquired some more management companies in town as well. That's correct. So you've, you've seen some, quite some growth in the last, I want to say, four to six years. Great opportunity in Greene County. And when did you oh. move here? I moved here in 2011. Okay, so economy had kind of fizzled. You live in Granby Ranch. I do. So you've got a lot of great access to a ski resort. Fish, did you fish? Uh, a little bit. Not okay. Really. I'm not much of a fisher myself, but no. golf, I assume you golf a lot. A lot of golf. A lot of golf, skiing? A lot of, you know, a lot of skiing. So your responsibilities have grown a lot. Are you still getting out there much? Uh, not like my intention when I moved here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, well, didn't you move here to retire? I, I did move here to retire, yes. And, and re refresh me because I can't quite remember what you were doing. It was some sort of international business. Yeah, I, we, uh, my family owned a um, international sales and distribution company involved in um, Film rights. I thought it was film related. Yeah. Right, exactly. And so you yeah. retired from that. Yep. How'd you find Grand County? Uh, we had good friends who have a place at Granby Ranch, and uh, they uh, invited me up for enough golf that my name was actually on one of their bedroom doors. <laughs> so they said I had to buy my own place. So, um, so what we decided to do after the market in Denver was was kind of crazy and. So we decided to swap and buy our retirement home here and keep a small condo down in Denver. And your timing couldn't be more perfect. Uh, yeah. You got out high in Denver, got in low up here, and now we're seeing a little pop. We're seeing Things a nice pop to, yeah, right now, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you've timed that well, and then you're playing golf. You meet Mike Divitz out playing golf. Is that correct? Something like that, yeah. 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 And uh, Next thing you know, you're owning a management company of right. short-term rentals and long-term rentals. My intention was to work 20 hours a week. <laughs> 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 yeah. That didn't work out so well for me. But yeah. No, I, I a real opportunity. Michael um, gave me a great chance to, uh, to learn about the, the property management business. He was here for in running business for th over 30 years and uh, had a lot of knowledge. And so I um, <clears throat> got a chance to work with him for a while and he said, hey, looks like you've got a taste for this, why don't you buy me out? <laughs> <laughs> that worked the opposite of what I thought was gonna happen, but uh, yeah, so we did. And then um, uh, my background in, in prior to the international distribution company was running soft, uh, a pretty good sized software company. Um, and we bought a lot and sold a lot of companies in, during that time. And I saw an opportunity up here, I thought, to consolidate the business and try to provide you know, a little bit different perspective. There's a, um, most of our, uh, the businesses. While we're just you know, speaking vaguely of business, uh, short-term, long-term rentals, is that correct? No long-term. No long-term rentals, no. but you do property management. So we do for homeowner, yeah, homeowner association management, whether you're a condo, townhome, or uh, a single family home. So we have the whole gamut of those uh, companies. Um, then we have about 250 homes in, uh, separately that we manage uh, on a vacation rental basis. Okay, it's 250 is what you're renting. Yes. Okay. So that's, uh, yeah, that's grown a little bit. Yeah, you've taken so, over and, uh, and you recently had a purchase uh, in the last year here. Last year we bought one of our competitors who had so, a few HOAs and a lot of rentals. And so growth has been uh, good from both sides because in 2011 uh, things were stagnating until, I don't know, what would you say, last 18 months to a year? Right. right. 18 months to two years, I would say. We finally started to see uh, positive growth. In right. Europe. We saw a trend about two years ago where built-up demand for people to get out 
was um, you, you know was what? Great. I just noticed we're uh, going to take a quick break here, and this is a great thing to come back in on because uh, talking about what the kind of trends you've seen and uh, and what's all going on there. So right. once again, hanging out with Robert Blay. He is the owner of CMC as well as a member of the Grand County Tourism Board. And stick around later because we're going to pop down to Moe's, catch a little of their happy hour special, drink some beer, eat some wings, and uh, check out some good barbecue. So we'll be back right here on Channel 18.